How's it going, everybody? Today I'm reviewing the new film directed by Clint Eastwood and starring Tom Hanks, Sully. Now, Sully is about Captain Sullenberger, who back in 2009 landed the plane on the Hudson River. Uh, a spectacular feat, a spectacular feat, and this kind of deals with the aftermath and the incident at hand. And was there any like stuff going on with Sully? Did he do it on purpose? Did he have some? sort of brain lapse, is he getting old? Is he getting old, can he not do his job right? Was it the right play to actually land it on the Hudson rather than try to go back to the airport? What was the right decision? Did he make it? You'll just watch the movie and find out. Now in case you don't know the story of it, I was not honestly too familiar with the story. Uh, and what happened in the States, it happened a few years back. I wasn't catching up on the news in that back then. I was back in like grade nine when this uh, incident occurred. So uh, I didn't know too much about it, but I knew, I knew the gist of it, I knew the gist of it, but I'll, like I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail on that. Let's start performance-wise. Tom Hanks is always great. He's, he's always great in whatever he does, uh, and this is no no different, basically. So he, he's, he's, he's Tom Hanks. He's Tom Hanks doing what Tom Hanks does. It's nothing like, oh my gosh, this is going to blow the like Academy away. I think Tom Hanks, is, he shows up to play, and he plays. Uh, the surprise standout for me was Aaron Eckhart as his co-pilot. He was, he was fantastic, and he added a lot of the humor to the film that I think was needed in such a serious topic like... Uh, like this one is, and uh, he was he was probably my favorite character in the entire film. As for Clint Eastwood's directing, uh, he has sometimes been hit and miss. I enjoyed American Sniper for what it was, uh, you know, like, but he has missed in the past. You have Jersey Boys, J. Edgar. There is, as of late, that he hasn't been at the top of his game, but I mean, American Sniper, I think, was a step in the right direction. I, I really enjoyed it, and uh, I think he did a good job here. My issue with this film is the way it's told. It's told through flashback a lot of the time and I almost watching it start to finish now after seeing it I'm like I think this would have been better told more linearly there is a couple instances where the flashback scenes work there's one instance at the end where I believe it actually works but also the flashbacks become repetitive you see these flashbacks from almost like different points of view you see it from the pilots you see it from the people in the planet you see it from like an outsider watching this incident happen and it it, as much as it adds to the story, it also kind of becomes repetitive at parts. Um, but yeah, like my main thing is, I wish this was told, like start to finish, with the exception of a couple flashbacks that make sense. Just because I feel like I was, I loved. Let's just start here. I loved everything to do with the plane stuff. Everything to do with the actual incident was fantastic, fantastic. Like ten out of ten worthy in my opinion. It was great. What I didn't necessarily love was the. It took me a bit to get into it. Once the plane stuff hit and they did the flashback, I was like, oh, this is, I'm locked in and cut. We're out of there. And just like that, we're back to dealing with the aftermath and, and what happens afterwards. And then literally there's one instance where if you get there, if you have a flashback scene, you cut back to Tom Hanks out at night for about two and a half minutes, maybe three minutes, and back to another flashback for another 15 minutes and then back again. It just, it, it seemed, it was jarring. It was jarring and I'm like, oh, just as we're getting good and we're back to the the present day I was like okay I wish like I said it would if it had started out with the plane stuff i had been locked in from the get-go and then intrigued as to how this plays out at the end and I think it just would have been better for me for me that's that's my biggest biggest issue now it's not to see this stuff like I said in present day wasn't good I just wanted to see the build up and lock me in more and because the ending is great the ending is great when they're finally deciding what happened what happened on the plane is great and the majority of the, of the movie as much as it's a short instance is the plane stuff and I love that I love that stuff I, and I still did like the other stuff again just the pacing the pacing of it and just where it was placed was my big complaint and the movie is only an hour and a half and because some of the stuff is repetitive I feel like they needed to do that to make it reach the, the like a full 90 minute runtime uh, because it is it's a short story like it really is it's it's very contained and happens over a course of like a week or so and it, it's just it, it's in and it's out so I think they did have to stretch some of the stuff to uh, fulfill the full 90 minute and get a theatrical release almost on it so it felt like they were stretching a little bit but like I said overall really enjoyed the movie it really did uh, I came out liking it because again the plane stuff is so thrilling edge of your seat type stuff it, it gives me anxiety almost to go on planes because I'm like man what if this happened to me what if it happened you know, it's stressful. You're at the edge of your seat, even though you may or may not know the outcome. 
uh, which is a testament to the film. So with all that said, I give Sully a movie rating of an 8 out of 10, a solid movie. Uh, Tom Hanks is great, Aaron Eckhart is great at the supporting cast, support them all, they're also really good. And like I said, plain stuff is amazing, just would have liked to, uh, again, just things switched around. As for my enjoyment rating, I also give that an 8 out of 10. Uh, again, just I enjoyed myself. I really did enjoy myself coming out of this movie. I don't know how it's going to do Oscar-wise just yet. Uh, I'll have to wait and see. But it could. It wouldn't surprise me if it does get a few nominations here and there. Anyways, let me know if you did like Sully or if you're going to see it this upcoming weekend. Let me know in the comment section below. Again, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos each and every week. That's it. I will talk to you all later.